For today's video, we're going to spend the rest of these road trip tickets and open up my last road trip llamas and know they will not be missed. But before we open those llamas, there were a couple of things I wanted to point out first. For those who haven't heard, crossplay is now available between PlayStation and Xbox. In order to crossplay, you will have to make an Epic account. I'll leave a link to it in the description. And once you make your account, you'll then have to download the Epic Launcher app. And you can download it either for Windows or for Mac. And once you've downloaded it, you want to open the Epic Launcher. Click on your friends list and you'll see the option to add people from there. All you have to do is enter their Epic ID. And once they've accepted your friend request, they'll then show up on your Epic's friends list, which can be accessed within the game. And you'll be able to send them invites as well as join them no matter what platform they're playing on. So when it comes to doing giveaways or helping people with their storm shield defenses or helping people with missions, we'll now be able to help everybody no matter what platform they're playing on. But yeah, that was the first thing I wanted to point out. Crossplay is now available between the different platforms. Uh, the second thing I wanted to quickly go over was the new items that were added to the weekly store. As you see, we got Legendary Flux, an Equalizer, Armory Slots, some Epic Defenders, Epic Survivors, Evolution Materials, Stonefoot Crash, which is one of the heroes we haven't gotten gameplay with yet. We also got Rare Flux, Perk Up, Support Specialist Hawk, as well as Reperk, a Legendary Armageddon, and Legendary Wall Darts. Obviously, if you don't have a legendary version of wall darts, you're going to want to get those. But yeah, this sums up everything that's currently in the weekly store. One thing I did want to point out, though, is that they could refresh it again with tomorrow's patch. So just like with the last patch, what I would recommend doing is purchasing all of your legendary flux tonight. That way, if it does refresh, you'll be able to purchase some more legendary flux tomorrow. And that way you'll be able to get 100 legendary flux in one week instead of just 50. If you're short on evolution materials, perk up or re-perk i would recommend doing the same thing with those materials go ahead and purchase as many as you can tonight so that way if the store refreshes tomorrow you'll be able to purchase some more so yeah those were the two main things i wanted to go over i wanted to show how you can cross play between playstation 4 and xbox and i also wanted to give you all a heads up in regards to the weekly store there is a chance it could refresh with tomorrow's patch but yeah we're gonna go ahead and end this video by opening up the rest of my road trip llamas I believe I own all of the flintlock weapons and all of the road trip heroes up. Oh, so we're going to have to choose again. We do have all the weapons, so it doesn't really matter which one we choose. Uh, the main reason I wanted to upload these tonight is because I didn't want to waste any time opening them tomorrow after the patch. And plus, it's also good to get a bunch of greens and blues for transforms as well as XP. So up oh, looks like we got a legendary dragoon. And we'll check out the perks that we get on all of this stuff uh, once we finish opening these llamas. But let's go ahead and open up another one. Let's see what we get from this one. But yeah, in my opinion, it seemed like this event lasted a little too long. Obviously, once you've gotten everything, there's really no point in opening them. Again, unless you're trying to get some XP or something. Or if you're trying to get a bunch of greens and grays for transforms, which is what we're currently trying to do. Obviously, when it comes to like weapons and traps, you're going to get schematic XP. When it comes to defenders and heroes, you're going to get hero XP. And obviously, when it comes to survivors, when you recycle them, you're going to get survivor XP. I guess another good reason to open these llamas is because when you recycle heroes, defenders, and survivors, you also get training manuals. And I know a lot of people have been asking how you can farm training manuals. Um, I've already explained how you can farm them through transformations. I'll leave a link to that video in the description if you want to check it out. But you can also farm them by opening event llamas. Because again, whenever you recycle a hero, defender, or survivor, you can get training manuals that way. Anyways, I believe we had a total of like 14,000 tickets, 14,600 tickets. So that's like 29 road trip llamas. So we're actually going to have to like run through these as quickly as possible. Let's go ahead and get another old Betsy. I kind of like the old Betsy. Plus, we have plenty of Sir Hooties. Uh, we haven't gotten gameplay with all of the Flintlock weapons yet. Or the heroes. Uh, the only hero we're missing is First Shot Rio. I actually wanted to try to get gameplay with her this week. But I sort of fell behind when it comes to the uploads. But we'll still try to get some gameplay of her. Uh, as soon as we get an opportunity to do so. Uh, when it comes to weapons, I believe the only weapons we haven't gotten gameplay with are that Sir Hootie. And we haven't gotten gameplay with the Duelist either. 
but I believe we got gameplay with all of the other flintlock weapons. Uh, if there's any that you want to see gameplay with, let us know in the comments below. But I'll leave a link to all those gameplays in the description. All right, so here's everything that we got from our first 10 llamas. I'm just going to quickly scroll over all of their perks so you can see the perks that we got on our weapons. But yeah, I'm not really going to waste a whole lot of time on these. Uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, we also got an epic dragoon. There are the perks that came with that. Uh, the best rolls for the dragoon, in my opinion, are reload speed times two. Uh, you can put an energy element on it and then impact. And someone gave me a dragoon with that roll, and that was the best dragoon that I ever tried. So those are the rolls that I would recommend when it comes to the dragoon. Uh, but let's see what else we got. Oh, we got another dragoon. There's the rolls that we got on that one. Here's the duelist, and that's everything that we got from those 10 road trip llamas. Also, the upgrade llama that we have for today is the legendary troll stash llama, which is one of the best llamas. We're not going to purchase any of them, though, because I pretty much already own everything that's in the game. So it would sort of be a waste to spend my V-Bucks on troll stash llamas. I'm basically just saving my V-Bucks for the super people llamas or maybe even smorgasbord llamas. So that way we can get some more legendary survivors and mythic lead survivors. Uh, but it's like we got another old Betsy. And when we get gameplay with First Shot Rio, I was thinking of using the old Betsy. I believe somebody recommended that we try it out with First Shot Rio. So whenever we get gameplay with her, oh, we got another old Betsy. Oh my goodness. All right, let's go ahead and open up another one. And I am sort of just like running through this video because I also want to upload it as quickly as possible. Are you serious? We got another old Betsy. Road Trip Llamas, you will not be missed. But yeah, let's see what we get from this one. We got a Skirmisher Edge, another Dragoon. So yeah, once you get all the weapons and all the heroes, the only thing event llamas are good for are XP and training manuals for the most part, which is kind of unfortunate. And it's also unfortunate that we're not getting any new llamas with this cram session event. Now that I think about it, you may want to hold off on purchasing any upgrade llamas until we get a new event because you're not going to get any type of tickets or anything from this cram session event. And that's one of the main reasons uh, I like to purchase upgrade llamas so I can get tickets and purchase the event llamas. And that's going to help you get the new event heroes and new event weapons a little bit quicker than just farming tickets by themselves. But since we don't have any event llamas with cram session and no tickets, you may want to hold off on purchasing any type of upgrade llama. Unless you see one that you really need or want. Uh, so it looks like we only have two more for this one. Let's go ahead and open up the rest of these real quick and see what we get from these. I've done a couple of road trip llama opening videos before and they didn't really do well. I don't really expect this one to do well either. Uh, the main reason I wanted to upload this video was to give you all a heads up in regards to crossplay. I wasn't sure if everybody knew about that or not. And I also wanted to give you all a heads up in regards to the weekly store. Because again, last time they refreshed the weekly store on Wednesday and had a patch on Thursday. They ended up refreshing the weekly store again. And I didn't want y'all to miss out on that extra legendary flux or evolution materials. And we've gotten plenty of old Betsy's. Let's go ahead and get another fishing hook. Uh, most of these I'll probably just end up recycling or saving for transformations. Uh, we also got an epic defender. Is that everything? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and quickly scroll over all of the perks real quick. That's actually not a bad roll. Let's check out the fishing hook. Uh, what else did we get? Another Sir Hootie. I actually wanted to try out the Sir Hootie too. Just didn't have a chance to level it up. Uh, but yeah, here are the perks that we get on all of the weapons that we get from these 10 road trip llamas. Uh, there's another old Betsy. What else did we get? Up oh, two old Betsy. We got a lot of old Betsy's. Another old Betsy. Oh my goodness. We got a lot of old Betsy's with this one. But yeah, we got nine more llamas left. Let's go ahead and open up all of them. So that way we won't have to waste any time opening them up tomorrow. We can just focus on the new update. Uh, but it looks like we got a Sir Hootie from this first one. And I'll probably spend the rest of the night like getting rid of all this extra stuff. Try to make some room. Make some room. Make some room. Uh, I'll probably also open up some mini llamas, get some more gold. So I can purchase those evolution materials, re-perk and perk up from the weekly store. And if we have any time later, uh, we may try to help out some people in our Facebook group. Help them out with their Storm Shield defenses or weekly horde or whatever it is they need help with. If you all need help doing anything before the next patch, 
Uh, be sure to join our Facebook group and let us know about it there. And we'll try to get you some help before the next update comes out. But yeah, that's probably what we'll do for the rest of the night. Uh, let's go ahead and finish running through these as quickly as possible. Uh, we got another Wild Fragment Dead Eye, which is a good thing because the original one that I had was only an epic version. And I didn't want to waste Legendary Flux upgrading his rarity. So I may just end up recycling the epic one and leveling up this legendary one. Uh, let's see what we get from this one. We only get three more llamas left after this one. Then we'll officially be done with the road trip event. Uh, like I said earlier, the only thing I didn't really like about it is that I kind of feel like it lasted too long. Normally, events don't last this long and save the world. That's probably the main thing I didn't like about it. But yeah, after tonight, it'll officially be over. We'll have the new cram session event starting tomorrow. I'll try to cover as much as I can in regards to the new cram session event. Uh, if y'all know of any tips or anything in regards to the new event or the new update, let us know about it in the comments below. But I'll try to do a video going over all of the new changes and the new event sometime tomorrow. And is this our last llama? Hopefully this is our last llama. I would not be mad if this is our last one. All right, so we got a fishing hook and fleet foot can. Okay, that is our last llama. All right, so I guess I'll go ahead and scroll over all of these perks as well. Uh, we got a couple of wild fragment dead eyes, another duelist, a survivor, up oh, two epic duelists. We also got another Sir Hootie, another dead eye, another Sir Hootie, uh, another survivor, another old Betsy, another Sir Hootie. Oh my goodness, so many Sir Hooties. And that sums up everything I got from my last road trip, Llamas. Anyways, that'll do it for this one. Let me know what you think about all of this stuff that we got from the road trip event. Also, let me know what you think about the crossplay between PlayStation and Xbox. And again, make sure you get those legendary flex before the update comes out tomorrow. Anyways, I hope y'all found the video useful and thanks for watching.